What is up everybody? I hope that you are having a great week and thanks for clicking on this video. You know, real fast, I want to tell you what's going on out there on the surf and give you kind of like a little taste of a fish report. I went and fished yesterday and I went and wade fished uh, along the beachfront uh, with a Patreon of mine, Carl. Uh, Carl hit me up and said, hey, I have the day off. Uh, let's go fishing. And one of the things that I've been kind of following, and I often do follow this time of year, is I will watch the for the water clarity. I will really keep my eye on the Galveston and Surfside area and kind of watch what the water clarity is doing and uh, what's going on. And I know a lot of people ask that a lot of times. A lot of people ask, you know, when's the water going to be clean? When You know, it's really, really hard to predict the water uh, when the water is clean kind of keep your eye on it and then it slowly starts creeping in and sometimes it comes all the way to the beach all the way to the surf and sometimes it just kind of lingers out there and right now we're having we're having that lingering process right now there's several things that all have to have to happen at the same time to really give you that clean water that's going to bring in those nice big surf trout uh, maybe you get some pompano you know it's not unlikely to get jacks this time of year you know the jack run is kind of over but you can still get the jacks that run through you can still get some spanish mackerel that run through you can get some more of those more desirable fish that we don't always see on inshore we don't always see on the beachfront and uh here in the galveston area and surfside area but you can get them come through some nice reds can come through you know just a lot a lot a lot a lot of nice fish that can really run through when we do have those cleaner water conditions and uh, i'm going to share with you just a little bit because i've done a video like this last year where I, where I talked about you know the cleaner water conditions and, and when is the water going to be clean but i just want to touch on it just a little bit so there's all different kind of apps you can use. There's all different kind of stuff. All from all different kind of information out there nowadays. Uh, you can have on your PC or your phone. And this is WindFinder. I, I find this to be very very helpful. WindFinder when I am looking at the wind and the wind conditions and the wind directions. And yes, the direction of the winds really help out. The more west winds that you get or north winds you get seem like the water is going to be a little little cleaner uh, north winds will help uh, flatten the surf out and make it more desirable to weight fish in the surf you're not going to get beat up that much by the waves but it can also make the everything settle down and let it be let less less murky and less sandy and you can kind of see right here today is you can kind of see right here. So today's Wednesday, the 26th, and we have favorable wind conditions that kind of pick up overnight. But for the most part, we have very favorable wind condition, kind of southwest and southeast. So kind of just goes back and forth and back and forth. So that can really help with the calm winds. That can really help what we want to see out there with our water clarity. And you can look at swell info, and that kind of gives you an idea. And again, you know, none of this stuff is etched in stone. This is the weather we're talking about. This is nature we're talking about. It's not going to be etched in stone. But you can see right here, it's saying for Galveston has very favorable clean water, fair, clean, and choppy. So towards the afternoon, it kind of gets a little choppier, and then it gets a little cleaner, then a little choppier and gets a little cleaner. And that kind of coincides with wind and what our tide is doing. So that kind of coincides a little bit with that. You might have clean water, might have clean water, but will it make it all the way to the beachfront? Is that, that's always a good question. So looking at tidesforfishing.com, you can really, you can, uh, gives, it's another tool that you can use when you're looking at the water clarity because typically when the incoming water comes in, that's when the clean water line pushes closer. And last night I noticed that we had that yesterday, we had that water that was kind of out there just lingering just a little bit, that clean water line just lingering a little bit, but it never really came in. And you can kind of see right here as the tide, the tide moved in a little bit this morning, that cleaner water came in just a little bit. And then as the day goes on, it, with that outgoing tide it might push the clean water back out a little a little further you know looking at the weekend and taking a look at the weekend a lot of weekenders you have that clean water might be pushed in overnight and then as the day goes on it might start getting a little dirty and dirty when you're looking at friday and going into saturday it's probably going to be the same kind of scenario and yes we have that same trend Clean water should be pushed in, and then as the day goes on, it gets a little, little dirtier and dirtier. And 
clicking back to swell info you can kind of see that overnight and then it gets it's clean during the day and then gets a little dirty as as a day so as the day goes on so hopefully those two things hopefully those two reports stay true and then we can get some clean water for everybody this weekend one of the things that i noticed from using saltwater recon camera you can see right here this is 91st street pier there's a dirty line right here and it gets a little cleaner the further you come out even in that more sandy area you can still find a lot of a lot of good fish you can still find a lot of trout you know there's nothing wrong with fishing in the dirty water you can get some drums and whitings and you know there's other fish out there and there, i mean there's even you, you can get specks in, in the in the dirty water as well but that clean water that's what we want right that's what we want the beach goers want and uh everybody else that is going to hit the beach during this time of year it's a great time of year uh, a couple days ago i was looking and watching what the surf was doing what the water clarity was doing and again we had just like now we had that cleaner water line that was just a little too far out just a little too far out for us to get to uh, in the galveston area i did notice that surfside surfside was much cleaner and you can see right here here is a picture of the jetty park what is going on at surfside jetty and you can see there's you can see the little dirtier water line over here but it for the most part looks kind of clean let's take a look and look at the beach and it's kind of hard to see in this angle but it kind of gives you more a little bit of an idea of what is going on in the surf right here and it's going to be a little cleaner Surfside it seems like the further south you go the cleaner the water tends to be it's not always the case but it was the case yesterday one other factor that I've been kind of watching and noticing is the high pressure system. The high pressure system, in my mind, also plays a factor into what our water clarity looks like and how clean it can be and how close to clean water can get. As the high pressure system is inland and goes off, it kind of acts as a vacuum and kind of sucks and pulls that tide, tide pull, pulls some of that tide, that undertow, and really acts as a vacuum and sucks up and, and makes it very dirty and very silty along the beachfront. Now, as it's offshore and comes back inland, it sucks and pulls some of that cleaner water back in. So I was just kind of last, you know, last year and this year kind of just really watching what the high pressure system does and kind of correlate it along with cleaner water. Uh, yesterday, you can see right here, the high pressure system is about 1020 and you go to today and it got a, just a little dirtier or just a little higher and the cleaner water didn't come in as close as it was yesterday than it was today and looking at tomorrow it drops just a little more so i'm hoping that uh, it will just clean it up and bring the cleaner water even just a little bit more for everybody and then unfortunately when you're looking at friday on the 28th it's going to raise it just a little bit so it's just going to that clean water line i think is just going to keep fluctuating and just playing around uh with the galveston area but if you are looking and really want to get into it well i would probably roll the dice and kind of look at surfside uh, more as an option or even look at fishing off some of the some of the piers because a uh, from the piers, it looks like you can probably reach uh, some of that area when the clean water comes in just a little more like it did yesterday afternoon. You can reach that line or possibly even fish the jetties this weekend. Now during this time of the year, late July going into August, uh, it seems like a lot of times you really struggle with the artificial bite. It's not as productive as it is during the late spring and early summer. So that's when I really change things up and start fishing with a more live live shrimp underneath the cork. That's uh, kind of what we used yesterday. So keep that in mind if you are looking to going out this weekend. Now, yesterday, we went and fished Surfside. We went out there and weight fished a little bit, got some live shrimp from a local bait shop over there. And uh, let me tell you, the surf was a little choppy. Yes, it caused it called for 
Uh, very low swell conditions, so it should have been a lot flatter than what it looked. And it actually looked didn't look that bad until we got into it a little bit. You know, we got off one of the sandbars, and typically when you do wade fish to surf, you want to fish off the sandbars and, and fish more into the gut or into the area between the sandbars. And that's kind of where the fish kind of hang out, the bait hangs out, and a lot of fish will use that area as kind of highway. It's not a whole lot of structure out there, so that the dip, the gut between the two sandbars kind of offers that structure area where you do find a lot of predator fish. Now we got beat up just a little bit. We did. I mean, it was it was pretty it's pretty comical. Uh, I, I lost a hundred and forty dollar pair of sunglasses. I lost my pliers. I lost my lippers. It was a uh, it was truly a funny moment. But we crushed it. We absolutely did. A lot of times when that clean water comes in and it wasn't super clean. It was fair. It was pretty clean. It was a lot cleaner than Galveston. But a lot of times when that cleaner water comes in, it gives you, give yourself 24 to 48 hours. And in that window when it first hits the surf, and you can really, really get on the fish. I mean, when you see the clean water move in, you got to stop what you're doing. You got to run out there and you got to get on them because it's not going to last. I mean, we got there before sunrise, and right at sunrise, it was shrimp for shrimp, fish for fish, cast for cast, couldn't cast cast back out fast enough. Um, yeah, it was pretty pretty awesome day, and uh, probably around 8.30, the faucet started closing a little bit, and around 9 o'clock, it was done. You know, it's it's hard to believe that it's 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 hustle and bustle and cast for cast and nonstop, nonstop, seems like it's going to never end, and then poof. The trout push off, they go a little deeper, the water gets a little warmer, the sun comes out a little more direct, the bait pushes off, and the bite's done. So, I hope you guys enjoy some of this content. Don't forget you can join Patreon today. I put fish reports up like this every single time I go out for my Patreons, kind of let them know what is going on. And yesterday afternoon when I got back, I let them know and told them, hey, this is where we fished at. This is where we walked in at. This is where we got bait at. So if you're going to go get them, I would definitely will go get them as soon as possible. Don't stop. Don't pass go. Run straight to the beach. Don't collect $200 and uh, get out there and get on those fish. So, yeah, join Patreon today. There's a link in the description section of this video. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go and do so. Like this video. Leave a comment. All that stuff really, really helps the channel out a lot. And until next, next time. I hope you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.